our night boiler is running great, but it keeps flashing on the screen, service due. Now we just had someone come and check everything, but we did, they didn't change the service due screen, so I'll show you how to do that. In order to access and change settings in the boiler, there are two codes. One is your typical user code, which is right in the manual, 0704. And also in the manual, but it was a little harder for us to find, is the installer code 5309. I believe this would be true for any of this type of night boiler because it's in their printed documentation. This is the installation and operation manual. And here is the um, service manual. And this is the chart for all of the different settings that you can change. This is the chart for how to install, or how to enter the installer code 5309. I'll show you how to do that on the screen itself. Hit the enter slash reset button once. It'll just light the screen up for you and stop the boiler from running if it was in a cycle. Hold the menu button for at least five seconds. Now you have a place to enter that menu code. It's 5309, but it's only allowing you to enter from the side first. So we're toggling up to nine. The number is 5309. Toggling over. Okay, it's a little cumbersome, but this is how you do it. 5309, that is the installer code. Now hit enter and you're accessing now a lot of different settings. Um, in our case, we're just wanting to take off that service do message because he forgot to do it. And that's all the way down here in J, which is, oh, so I'm gonna hit enter, but it's also in the service manual. Here are all the different settings you can look up. Okay, here's the service notification section and how you can do that. So this is called J1, service interval time. That's not what we want. We're toggling down or up, as the case may be. Service interval run time, no, we're not changing that. We want uh, one more. There, reset service, okay? And so we're hitting enter, that is what we want. Um, yes, enter or no escape. Yes, it's enter. Just hit the exit button and the service due message that was flashing every five seconds has gone away. That's been reset. Now, you do need to get your boiler checked every so often. Usually, a default um, setting is every 12 months, and uh, but it can be changed to operation time and different settings. We like the 12 month option, but now since we had it checked, it doesn't show that service is due because it's no longer due.